Excuse me. Did you call me on a flip phone? Fucking hell, why not fax? It's a cryptophone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. The fuck are you? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on S-I-R-S, -S, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. Not making any promises, but we'll hear you out. Good. I hid coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. Lee, Sabine, what are we getting into here? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated. Did for randos, but SARS could pull it off. Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face, for example. And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. Fuck. Looks like there's been a scrap. That SARS bloke's not here. SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. Right. I'll have a go. Damn it. Now return to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. That appears to be our contact. Me. Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. They 
taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. Construction's nearly finished, and so's our contact if you don't hurry. It looks like our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. Our contact's assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Mercs, not sirs. What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SIRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. Robot humour. What else can you tell me? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tyre tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me, hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Let's see it then. You're mad, a sirs officer and a leaky fucking twat. That's 
it's not me. I swear to God, please, please. Fucking hell, look at the mess he's got himself in. Suppose we should get him out. Bagley, give me a location. Nearby, keep looking. Shit, gave us some shit. Check him down. was right there a minute ago. Ugh. It's all right. I'm dead sick. You called us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. 
Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. We just saved your life, dickhead. No, you've just damned us both. Look, um, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. No, no, no. You explain everything, mate. My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. All right. We'll see what Bagley says about your intel. Just don't make me regret this. That I can't promise. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. I don't like him, but that don't mean we shouldn't check out his information. All right, one second. Bagley, go over this man's information, and if it rings true, call a team meeting. 